Welcome back, lovely souls, or welcome for the first time, lovely souls. God is here today because I got some messages for you. This message today feels like two different types of people. So I encourage you to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. So it definitely is titled, you know, Understanding Purpose by Understanding um, Suffering, Purpose in Suffering. So there are some messages that will be coming through for you today. I heard someone here is bilingual and I guess you're doing your best to understand, uh, my English words. Okay. So, uh, I heard that you're like reading my energy. Congratulations. I'm very, very proud of you. Okay. So what come through is like, okay, I have a group of you here who is learning how to be the mind master, meaning you're learning how to do the inner work and not going outside of you for things that you cannot control. You're learning how to have power over your own mind. And it may be very challenging for you, but this is key. I'm actually hearing the word alchemy. I'm hearing mind master. I'm also hearing co-creator. So I feel like the group of you in this, uh, what I just spoke on are working on being a co-creator. There are messages here for you as well. The other group of you, I feel that you may have just begun the journey. You may be in the beginning stages or you may have been on the journey and just uh, need an understanding of the suffering and the, the pain that you are experiencing. Okay. I'm also actually is jumping straight to a message of this is what is occurring collectively. Okay. When you're in the energy of suffering and pain, it is very challenging to understand that it's working for you. And we understand that, but it truly is. You will all see in the collective, a lot of her intense energies as well as suffering. I'm also hearing it come across as this is all God's work. Everything is God. Everything is God. Everything is God, whether you want to believe it or not. I keep hearing, see it differently. And everything is always working for you, whether you choose to believe it or not. Again, see it differently. Okay. I'm also going to the message of expanding your consciousness for you to gain clarity and understanding of your circumstances, situations, suffering, and challenges. Okay. I'm also getting the message of karmic relationships. Okay. I feel like some of you here are cutting ties to certain karmic relationships that has held you back for some time now. And that's why you were guided here. So do take these messages, how they resonate to you. Okay. I'm being given now to tell a little bit about my story on the behalf of suffering. Those of you who feel that you are suffering and it's, it's it, I got this strong feeling like this is strongly going to continuously rise in the collective more and more and more and more because many may not and many do understand that suffering can be transcended. I'm also hearing the word transmuted into purpose. Okay. I'm getting the message that your life is not designed for you to suffer and stay in pain. It is exact is those, those things that I just mentioned or there to move you through. Okay. That's the message that's just coming through. Okay. Now that woman explain a little bit about myself. I understand what it feels like when you are in suffering in pain and going through things and you don't understand certain things that people say, like what I've just mentioned, or you read postings and you feel some type of way because you feel left behind. You feel not acknowledged. You feel like a victim and like no one understands you. And you feel like you want someone to come save you. And I'm actually hearing you have all the tools within you to save yourself. I'm also picking up that 
Some of you here are blocked by distractions right now and it's causing you to procrastinate and resist at this time. I'm also hearing family, friends. I'm also hearing children in need that could be your own inner child that needs your nurturing. Okay. Take it how it resonates to you. But the family and friends that I'm picking up as well as karmic relationships are tied to distractions. So these people are, I heard feeding off of your energy and distracting your growth, distracting you from growth. You may have not heard from somebody in a long time. They have contacted you back and it feels awesome to talk to them, but it's also draining at the same time, right? And this could have been right when you set boundaries or said what you're going to begin doing. Like you might've said, I ain't going to let nobody else distract me in this season. As I move forward, I'm not going to let people distract me. And after you said it, you committed to it. Then it enters your reality, a phone call, a show up, a knock at the door. Somebody comes through to talk to you, right? And it is someone that you've known, you knew, you know this person, but you haven't heard from them. And I keep seeing three, so three weeks, three months, three years. I, I want to say three days, but I, I, it could be that. And I'm just going to say it, so take it how it resonates. For some of you, it could be three days, but I feel like it's been distant. Okay, but do take it how it resonates. Okay, and those of you who are working on being the mind master, I'm here, do not be so hard on yourself. For learning to do this is all new. I'm also hearing that you have claimed your power back. And it's flowing through you. And they want you to know that divine love also flows through you. And that is very important for all of you to understand that love starts with you. I heard it's the portal in your heart. And it all starts with you loving yourself as you are. So do be mindful of insecurities and self-sabotaging behavior at this time. They may, with the full moon we just had Saturday, you may have noticed these things arise. Insecurities could be stopping you from being comfortable in your own being, like loving you as you are. You may have this certain like small, I see a little small period. It could be like a small period, right? Insecurity that only you recognize so deeply and no one else sees it. And you're very insecure about it. And I feel like there's something that you are working on and moving through, right? Uh, I heard dive deep. If you haven't gained the clarity and understanding on this insecurity, like where did it come from? I don't feel like it was, is even yours. I feel like it was this energy projected upon you. I heard, I see it, a young child, young teen, and it's some of you, even an adult. Okay. And you've uh, been carrying this along with you. Okay. So do look at that. And the thing is you may, if this is given example, if it's your body, you may catch yourself always looking at your body. Don't do it, lovely soul. Just focus more on how you feel. Accept yourself as you are, however it resonates to you, and then things will begin to change for you. So don't, I heard like call attention to your weaknesses, you know, especially as you are working on making those weaknesses strengths, okay? So back to this story, we just flowing with it, baby, okay? So back to the story of myself. I was struggling, I was suffering, and I would hear the same thing that I'm sharing with you all today. Your suffering will turn to purpose. You will turn your pain to purpose, pain to power, all that stuff. And I'm like, when I'm in that energy, when I was in that moment and I experienced those things, I just feel like people didn't understand me and I felt victimized. I felt like a victim. We want you to know that you are a victor, lovely soul. You're not a victim. And I'm like, move out that space is what I'm hearing. I had to move out of that space. It's almost like the vision I'm giving for lack of better words or better term or whatever. Like, it's like a vision. Like, the more you keep moving forward, you keep moving far away from the past, far away from your old identity, far away from all your old self. And I'm also getting this message of like, that's why like you, you hear like people come into your life for a reason, a season, a blessing, right? Or, or a lesson, right? Because seasons change like you change. So even when you meet great, good, amazing people in your life, even when that season comes of change, those people you may outgrow out, they may, you may outgrow, you may begin to grow more and, and those people will begin to leave your life. We have to 
I see the word detachment. We have to detach and be okay with letting go. And I'm also seeing the word aligning to align with our uh, greatest, our highest good, our uh, highest mission and purpose here on earth. I'm also feeling the energy of like divine guidance of co-create, like working with the most high God is exactly what many of you who resonate with that right now and understand that are, are moving into right now. The ones of you who are really working with your mind, like not letting it control you and realizing that the power has been with you all along, right inside of you, as well as claiming back power that you have given to people, places, things, environments, uh, spaces, dimensions, time, stuff of that nature. You've been calling all that power back to you. Also, you've been feeling very energized. Do move the energy. When you get so much energy in your body right now, because many of you are being filled with light codes and new energy, right? New, new high vibrations. Um, you may feel it in your head, maybe getting headaches. You may feel it in your throat. You can move that energy to your stomach below your belly button, which can hold most energy. Okay. These messages are just coming through, right? It seems very random. And I feel like so many of you need these messages. So we just going to flow with it. Okay. So I'm also seeing a rose love and I'm getting the chills. Spirit really wants you to know that you are loved and, um, you are loving and you are lovable and you are worth the love that you give. And I really am seeing the romantic words. Some of you are like longing, wanting, searching like for this romantic relationship. And some of you just for someone to have that, that two right with you, well, that deuce, deuce with you, like giving me the, the vibe of like someone like you, right? Someone who understands you, someone who gives what you give, right? And I feel like the rom romantic relationship that just popped up is someone not receiving that give and then receiving that they're giving to someone and you could take it how it resonates with you. And I'm also hearing that the relationship that you're in as it's a karmic relationship is played out and it could be blocking the way for your soulmate. And I'm also hearing soul tribe. And this could be someone who has a friendship or people in your life that you've outgrown and you know, no longer serve where you're going. You're just keeping them there. Okay. That message just came through as well. Welcome to the channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel spirit and I'm so grateful to have you all here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I do understand what it feels like to may feel like a victim and not understand that your soul chose everything that you've experienced. No matter how daunting it may seem, we all have a story. That's why it's highly important to be kind to people because we don't know what other people been going through. Nobody ever knows what someone has been through, right? And sometimes when we feel like a victim and we're suffering and we're in pain, we feel like, uh, nobody cares. Nobody understands us. Nobody's there for us. We only are thinking about ourselves when we can actually see it differently and just be like, dang, I wonder if other people have experienced what I'm experiencing. And you can start to look out and reach out and find videos like this that can give you clarity and understanding and knowledge instead of, I heard like dancing around and being stuck in a place of feeling like a victim. And those of you who that resonate with, this may be like you're on the beginning of your path and do know it's okay because uh, I heard change is coming. Take it how it resonates. Everything is happening this way. Everything is happening the way it's supposed to and you are where you are supposed to be at, okay? So understanding that purpose uh, pain and suffering, you turn into purpose. It's like using that energy to help you dive deep within yourself to, uh, uncover blocks, to uncover and understand your story, where the pain come from, where the trauma come from, where the shame, all these things, where does it come from? And I also hear to understand your shadow self, which has been hidden from the world. You hid it because the world rejected you, right? And this is that part of you who has your gifts and talents in it. That's that unique part of you that the world you felt rejected. And so you hit it and you begin to wear a mask instead. Okay. So take how that resonates. So I heard that for some of you, the other half of you are integrating that shadow. self. I feel like you're beginning to laugh again, have fun again, being able to live way more in the moment. Now and I'm actually seeing you grounded down in your truth. Lovely souls. That's absolutely amazing for all of you here. So yes, your, my pain, 
my suffering that I've experienced on my journey has turned into my power. And I understand my story and I healed those parts of me and I've integrated that shadow within myself and uh, I'm whole and one again. And some of you may resonate exactly what I'm saying right now here today. Okay, so it is what it is, lovely. So you can turn your pain into power, okay? Alchemy and your story, you will be helping millions and billions of souls out there because you'll be pulling yourself out of a dark place. Okay. I'm here like many people think that it's impossible and you may or may not know whoever you are resonating with this. You are a healer. You're probably empathic and you probably feel other people's energy and take it on as your own. Be mindful, set boundaries and uh, protect your energy. Okay. So with those messages coming through, let's go ahead and get into the rest of them. I also had like, I've been getting messages for you all today, like left and right. So listen, take it how it resonates. Rest in knowing you are taken care of. Beginning a new chapter in your life around spirituality. Expect clarity and answers around your questions. Okay. That's what's coming through for those of you who felt that. Okay. Someone, your financial abundance. Your money was or has been delayed for your protection. Learn what you need to learn. It's coming. It's already yours. It's already done. It is for your protection. Your rejection is God's protection. Okay. It will all come in divine time. And a lot of times we don't see what is really going on. I'm here like energetically or in the spirit world or around us. We don't see what our higher consciousness see. We don't see what our higher self see. We don't see what God is able to see. Right. I heard like worldwide view. So we have to learn to trust our intuition and our higher self and source to guide us. Okay. From, from the heart, like pitfalls from these holes that we don't have to fall into if we fall our inner guidance. That's why for, I think since January or maybe even in most of 2023, all the way into 2024, it's been, uh, introspection. It's been, uh, going in and learning how to, um, work from the inside out. Like life's a video game, yo, like real talk. You control it from the inside out. It's just like, if you're playing a video game, you got the, the, the controller in your hand, controlling the character on the, the screen, doing whatever it is doing. That's the same thing you're doing from within yourself. Life, <laughs> life is a video game. It's not meant to be so serious. We, uh, heard someone has been impacted however that means, uh, or on the flip side, I'm seeing like you are here to create an impact. Okay. From your pain and suffering being turned into power. And I heard gain. Okay. Okay. Y'all, y'all see these messages coming through. I ain't know it was going to be all this. Yeah. I'm listening to advanced souls feel you never had support. Okay. It's because you came here to be the support system for many. So you may have always noticed when you look back, you've never had support. You've always been around people who didn't really know much or know how to guide you much and stuff of that nature. Okay. Because you're an advanced soul. And even on your journey, you feel like you lack support. You didn't have much support because you are the one who I've seen Phoenix rising, baby, from the ashes. You are, you are the one who are here to be a support system for many. The next one was, if your life doesn't have a deep sense of meaning, you will distract yourself. That message is going back to those of you who are resonating with, uh, suffering and, uh, uh, like being a victim, the stuff that came, the message that came through there, it's all designed to give your life a deeper meaning. When your life has a deeper meaning, it it gives you more of a drive and it makes you want to, uh, do more better for yourself and stuff of that nature. And when our life doesn't have a meaning, we have to give it a meaning. If not, someone will give us a meaning of what life is. And it doesn't mean nothing to us, but they told us this is what life is type stuff. And we ain't feeling it. So we go distract ourselves. Okay. That's a message as well. Happiness is not a destination. It's a way of life. Your hard work and practicality are aligned with your spiritual growth right now, lovely soul. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I didn't want to give like such a big story of my own, just breaking it parts into what I've done. Okay. With the pain and suffering, I feel like it's pretty simple and straightforward of what was already mentioned. Okay. So themes, 
Negative change has to happen in order for us to learn. We must experience what appears to be negative for us to grow. With every negative, there is a positive. Look at a battery. I heard charge it up. This is how it works. Prepare yourself for any kind of change, okay? Because either one, positive or negative, will lead to something much better eventually. Stay strong and hopeful. You will see how well it can go. Worrying about things you have no power over is a waste of your energy. Discipline is key to every aspect of your life. Discipline is way more powerful than motivation. Let me get the screen right, y'all. Hold on, wait a minute. I think I did it. Okay. Let me. I did actually get more time on the screen or whatever. Let me change it. Okay, let me click that out. Okay. I don't know what that was, but do excuse me. Okay. Discipline is more, way more powerful than motivation. Prepare yourself for change by being open to whatever happens to you. If it's good, you won't miss out on the opportunity. If it's bad, you will have more strength to deal with it. You will know that it is leading to something good. Either way, you will be able to take on what your angels have foreseen for you. And you will be prepared either way, lovely saw her. No more running, no more hiding. Face it. Take care of your responsibilities as well as continuously moving forward to uh, following your dreams. Okay? Just keeping that balance. Okay? Live in the moment and keep your expectations in check so you don't receive a blessing with disappointment. Expect the best, but be prepared for however it turns out, okay? And a lot of times we want things to be a certain way. We want it when we want it, and we want it now, and that is our egos. That is not our soul. Our soul trusts the divine timing, okay? So that is also a lesson of its own, okay? Because God's timing may not match our expectations. So do be mindful of that, but always expect the best. Do not be expecting the worst, okay? Don't cloud your energy in your mind expecting the worst. Like hearing this message can bring up negative thoughts and emotions and fears and anxieties. Change your energy. Reframe it. There is a blessing in disguise. This blessing in disguise is tied to building character. Be prepared for anything in life. Good and bad are a part of our life. No matter what comes your way, accept the situation with love, calmness, and compassion. Something new is coming your way. Be prepared. Those are the messages that came through. And to tie in with it, for those of you who are working with your mind, if you're not there yet and you're moving to that, however, take this message in, how it resonates. When you can't be controlled in your mind, y'all know I don't really just talk about other energies besides God, the most high, but at the end of the day, spirituality ain't all about love and light, right? It's destruction. <laughs> Things are happening, right? There are energies out there that want that want to control you. Look how I got tongue tied trying to say that. That want to control you, right? I just don't put that focus and attention on them, but I'm guided today to mention when you can't be controlled in your mind, I want you to hear this. It will enter your physical reality. You hear? All weapons formed against me turns into prosperity. That is something that you can begin to say, lovely soul. And stay true, stay stay you, and stay 10 toes down and keep the faith, baby, okay? And at the end of the day, we can always see things in different ways, right? And then as you see things like that may occur, you can also like, I heard like tighten up, right? And so if things start entering your physical reality, do not let those things control you. Don't try to give away your power. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's move on. When you catch yourself attaching or focusing on a thought that's not aligned, move the energy, do something, work out, move forward, do something you love, do something different. Don't try to fix it. Okay, it's like, example, if you are aware of this stuff and you know you're moving past it, don't entertain it. Okay, don't entertain it. And instead, go move the energy. You might catch yourself like wanting to believe it and then start to mess with your energy. Go move forward. Go do something to move yourself forward. And it's usually like a thought of worry or something you're waiting on, something you want clarity on, something you want to happen type stuff. Okay, because you do know to always reframe, use positive mantras as you're working to reprogram your mind. So these are two different types of uh, things that I'm speaking on, but take them how they resonate to you in your life. Remember what comes to us is for us. Alchemize and change it up, baby. Okay, y'all heard. Let's get into some 
some calls and some more messages today. I did not even know or <laughs> this video would be like this. So I'm just um, in the unknown, baby, in the uncertainty, falling the flow, feeling good. How about you today? Let me know how you're feeling because how you're feeling matters, baby. Let me know down below in the comment section because y'all get these messages today. Let's get you a message from the healing day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for being here with us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What messages, healing messages, because we are healing right now. Many of you here today are healing, okay, as well. Um, what messages in this healing deck would you like to share with us today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, spirit. Success, baby. I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart and the higher wisdom that guides me toward victory. I direct my thoughts toward clarity and nurture wisdom, love, and goodness within me. I am free now and I succeed in my life. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Affirm, baby. Use this for your affirmation. I'm feeling gold, purity, star being born. I said Phoenix rising a while ago. I'm feeling confidence. Okay. Let me find out. You hear? Release. I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment, and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands. Well, I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. I'm getting the chills, baby. Look at that ping giving me love. I put a little love in your heart. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. I'm getting the chills. The calm. Check it out, man. Look at this confirmation coming through today. I breathe, live, and grow the light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment i cast off my doubts and all fear dissipates and i find peace in my being let me find out let me find out use these as affirmations how they speak into your spirit today baby because you know what i'm saying faithfulness faithfulness i commit to my mind heart and will i am devoted to the needs of my soul i trust in myself in god and in the universe check it out Check it. All these cards coming through right here. Let me get your affirmation note. And we are going to pull from the Star Seed Oracle deck as well today. And uh, cosmic messages. We'll see if any blocks and uh, angel message. And we will move to these messages for you today, Spirit. What messages in this self-love that self -love deck that you would like? I, I feel like I want to say lucky you. Lucky you. And luck comes from the work that you do. Okay. What affirmation? In this self-love deck, would you like to share with us today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amber Alert going off on my phone. Confirmation. We got some messages, baby. Last clear. Honoring my heart. I take moment each day to stop and tune into the beating of my heart. I honor whatever my heart calls me to do and I allow my feelings to arise without any struggle. I take this time to check in with my heart, which keeps me centered within myself and in tune with my intuition. Honor your heart, lovely. So I feel like this excitement coming through me right now, lovely soul, reclaiming my power. I mean, I am empowered to create my destiny and cultivate happiness and joy in my life. I do not depend on others to bring me happiness. I am centered in the, in this source of joy within me. And I know that something can take, I, and I know that nothing can take it away. You feel me? When it's inside of you, when it's, when it's inside of you, can't nobody take it from you. You heard it's all a part of this mission. It's all a part of life. It's all a part of your purpose. It's all happening for you. I'm trying to take God is working in your favor, lovely. So whether you know it or not, some of you are also having an inner transformation and you are attracting opportunities. It's time to explore and adventure. Okay, lovely. So that's the messages in those decks right there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see what I want to move into next. I'm feeling like going into more of like some of you who were brought here today may not fully understand your suffering and pain. Okay. So feel, it may feel as nobody gets you. It may feel like you're a victim meaning you want someone to save you. You want people to acknowledge and understand your pain and suffering. And you may feel that some spiritual people don't get you because you got to understand lovely. soul. people are on different levels and you just may not have the clarity and understanding of where you are. We understand you and you are loved and you are not alone. Lovely. So keep moving forward. It may feel like people, People don't care, but I care. Okay. Actually, that's all in our own mind. We create these things in our own mind and keep us stuck and trapped. It's up to us to acknowledge and accept it and work through it ourselves. We can't expect people outside of us you hear, to uh, help us uh, save ourselves type stuff. That's the energy. That's the way I'm guided to say it. So sometimes you may feel not like 
not understand your story and experiences just that you might not understand your story and experiences just yet. But many of us who've been where you are, as you've heard today, as I've expressed this, we've been where you are and our own unique and similar unique experiences. Okay. So we get it. So regardless, like your story may be different from mine, but the whole narrative of the story is the same. It's like turning our suffering into power, turning our pain into purpose type stuff. Okay. So that's why many of us like myself, we get it and we give the tools and the guidance to help lead others the way. And that's the same that many of you here today are stepping into co-creator. Okay. You got to release the blame. If this resonates with you, you may also feel shame, which most likely was projected upon you. Truth is rather we like it or not. Our soul has chosen our life experiences for our own personal growth and advancement. Our experiences may not have been pleasant or they may not be pleasant, but they were chosen by us to grow. We chose our families. We chose all of this. Okay. And it's chosen by us to grow remember who we are and what we are truly capable of doing it's meant to be fun although it goes we go through what we go through right and that's the the, the what I call the roller coaster ride the adrenaline the, the 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 excitement of it all it's just allowing yourself to ride the wave ride the ride baby and take what come with it it's so key to remember who you are that is the key purpose to it all because that will change up the whole game enjoy the process and the journey knowing it's leading you to where you are meant to be some of you here today, you are experiencing money blocks and limiting beliefs and having self-sabotaging behavior. So if this resonates, go in and find the blocks and release. The release card already came out. Our soul chose more than we know. And we get upset when we have forgotten this amnesia, baby. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be a game of growth and expansion and stuff like that. If we would remember while we came here, we have to remember by the journey, baby. We have to remember by the journey. We question why would I have chosen this to happen to me? Or why would I have chosen that to happen to me? Why would I have chosen to go through that? That's what I used to say. But the key is to keep moving forward. And, and those lessons will eventually become clear to you once learned. I understand how you feel and where you are, but it's not as it seems lovely. So it's all designed for you to grow. The goal is to turn your pain into power and purpose. When you are suffering, it is key to use alchemy and your power, right? See it different, change your perspective. This will move you for it, lovely. So let's see what blocks may be there. This will move you. One card moved out, baby. Completion. Someone I said moved out. It flew out, baby. Completion. You are completing. Com- totally. It's dead. Done. You see, it's th- this is done. This cycle that many of you who resonate with this card, it's dead, done, and over with, baby. I actually saw yesterday, boop, 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 like a door nailed up. You know, like I like to say, it's gone. The past is so far gone. It's so far behind me. I, I can't even visit it in my daydream because it is gone. It is gone for some of you is like how many you feel like you've been having like like you died three times real talk real talk how many times how many times through this transformation rebirth you about to feel like you died three times though bro it is completed it is completed it's done you don't you don't have to go back there i feel like there is no going back for those of you who resonate okay and however you whatever's coming up intuitively within you when you see this card take how it resonates i also heard build confidence from here all right, pick yourself back up. Any more messages in this deck, Spirit? Don't just lay there, lovely soul, okay? It's gone. It's done, okay? Those of you who resonated, okay? Okay, now that I heard, like, the residue, the energy is leaving out of you. I feel like most of you, those that energy already left out of you as well. Some of you are working through the energy from that uh, cycle, that uh, that whatever you were working through, whatever the energies were there, I think that's what you're releasing, okay? Okay, you may feel anxious. You can always uh, transmute that uh into um excitement okay it's the same energy see it different change your perspective any other messages in this deck spirit you would like to share with us thank you thank you thank you i'm seeing a rainbow baby miracles i on my last video i made i said i am a magnet to miracles miracles prayer i'm feeling like meditation or speak it into existence know that it's already done connect in with your inner world. That's what I'm feeling when I'm seeing prayer. Look at the two different worlds, baby. Look at that world. Look at that world. Look at that. Check it out. See it differently. Okay. I'm also hearing jump timelines for someone. It's just confusing. It's cl- it's confusion. And I'm here like blocking your judgment to something. Okay. To somebody, but this is just confusion. It's not as it seems lovely. soul. okay. And as we, we entered today, it also said that, um, 
that uh that that you're going to get some clarity and some answers to your questions okay they're on the way to you look perfection let it go baby i choose awareness over perfection let the perfectionism go you're probably feeling that right now that you got to be perfect and release baby release release what no longer serves you is dead done and gone baby the storm don't last forever i'm seeing a, i'm seeing a rainbow right now okay move out of victim mentality okay these are the blocks that are coming through guilt Okay, those are the messages that are coming through, lovely soul. Check it out. Passion, baby. Passion. Passion. Look, renewal. Okay, accept. You heard, lovely soul. You heard. And we also said dissipating towards something in the one of these messages that came through. Y'all can rewind it back if you like. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, so take what blocks came through and take what cards resonate with you. Let's get you a message from the cosmos, from the angels, and the star seed oracle. And we're going to tie it all together, baby. I'm so grateful to have you here today. This is a very different video packed with value and information. Very resourceful. And uh, it's just for you, lovely soul. It's just for you, okay? Okay, it's just like, it's just different because it feels like I'm talking to two different, like, groups of people, okay? All right, message from the Oracle Day. Okay, messages from Spirit. What messages in here, Spirit, would you like to share with us today? Oh, hold on, let me start. Off. Hold on. I like turning the cards all the way around. Okay, let's go. What messages in this deck would you like to share with us today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you find something that excites you, go all in and enjoy the ride. Check it out, check it out. Check it out. Be authentic. Anything else is just exhausting. Take those masks and throw them in the trash. You heard? Be you. Be all that you can be. And I'm actually, I'm feeling this mess. Be all that you can be. <laughs> oh my gosh, that just came through in the army. Somebody who resonates with being authentic may have been in the army and their uh, past. Okay. I also feel this message with authenticity. And I'm feeling like this message of like self-sabotaging. Don't Try to, don't self-sabotage yourself with telling people what they want to hear to make them comfortable. Be yourself. Even if your voice shakes, it may seem like what you say going to trigger them or make them feel some type of way. No more trying to make people comfortable. Your authenticity will trigger people because it is love because they're going to be able to see what they need to see. And that's the whole intentions of it by just being you. Okay, lovely soul. I understand. I understand. But don't self-sabotage yourself being authentic because you want them for the comfort of others. Remember that you can't change anyone but yourself. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And by being you, People will be triggered. They have that opportunity to look at themselves or blame you. That is their choice. If they don't take the gift that you give them by you being authentic and rare as you are, that is not your problem. That is them. You give the gift by being yourself. And if they don't receive it, hey, that's not on you. We can only change ourselves. We cannot change others, baby. Look, find ways to lighten up and, and not take everything so seriously. You heard Okay, and I got to give you this message. Listen to your body and do what it is asking of you, lovely soul. Listen to your body. That's the message that's coming through. Let's see what the angels have for you, lovely soul. And then we're going to end it with the star seed uh, oracle deck. Okay, star seeds, chosen one, light workers, light beans. Let me find out. Okay, y'all here today. I know y'all up here. Hit that like button if you done this message today. Hit that like button if it's resonating. If, if I spoke to your spirit, if I've given you clarity today, hit that like button and share this video with whoever you want to share this video with. Lovely souls, if you all are still here and in the mix, baby, hit that like button and share this video. And if you're on Instagram or follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly Travel Spirits, if you're new here and you're feeling the vibes and you open up to the truth, baby, hit that subscribe button and that bell. See all the newest videos that I drop. I'm so grateful to have all you new subscribers here to the PCM family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, and thank you all who've been rocking with me, baby. Real talk, who already been here. I'm so grateful for all of you. I love you all. And that's real talk. One love, baby. One love. Let's get into it. All right, angels. What messages would you like to share here with us today? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what it is, y'all. 23, 23. First thing I heard was Jordan when I saw 23. Endless cycles. Charisma. Communication. Society. Movement. Journey. Rep rep 
tiff, circumstances, and patterns. There's some truth you are resisting to accept over and over again until you are tired and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. Check it out. Check it out. Wow. Beautiful angel message. Let's get into the next one. 444 protection, change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, and love. Get ready for good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going toward your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. Y'all, when you're raising your vibration, simple way to say like there is a reality that already exists, right? You already exist. You're a multidimensional being. There's a reality that already exists. There's people in this reality who rock with who you are, who resonate with what you got to give and so forth. So that's why it's important to understand that you may be thinking from where you are right now in the reality that you're in and looking at these people like, how can I help them? How can I can change them? Woo, woo, woo. That's why you're changing your energy and moving to another reality. Okay, let's keep it as simple as that. That's the message that is coming through right now. And also, I feel like there was something else there. Character. When it feels like a, a, like your journey's been long, it's been challenging, and it, it comes with what it comes with, right? I heard time is an illusion. You have the power to be in reality when you're doing what you love, okay? But a longer journey, or however your path goes, and it, and it takes time, right, on your path, it's because you're building character, okay? It goes back to remembering who you are. You are building character. When people just jump in, into win, and do what they got to do, there's no meaning to life. It gets boring. They feel done. They don't want to do anything more than what they've done, and it's just like they want to give up. There's a reason why God do what God do in our lives. God be moving us, baby. That's real talk. We got to understand the uh, powers of the universe, understand how the universe works. I'm also feeling like this message for those of you who are creators. Do not focus on likes and all that stuff, because remember, when things can't happen or control you, in your mind will be controlled outside of you. Don't put, you, don't do it for all those things. Just be observing out here. That's the message as well. Because when you do it for likes and this, that, and other, you can easily give up. There's so many reasons why we we learn the things that we learn, and God teaches us this. One on one, baby. Starting over. Intelligence, dynamics, making a difference. Failures, personal or spiritual development. Happiness is linked to self expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and around. Understand is process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. Check it out. Everything is such clarity. Take those uh, messages, how they resonate to you. And as we tie it all together without further ado with a star seed oracle message, let's get into it, baby. Thank you all for being here, sharing your valuable time here with me. I appreciate you. All right, Spirit, what star seed message would you like to share with us today? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Look, check it out. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful car while you look at that, look at that, look at that. What are you feeling? What is coming up? What is your intuition telling you right now, baby? Magical, mystical, are you seeing the magic around you right now? Let me find out. Let me know down below. Let's get into a message, 36, maybe 36 year old, years old. I heard you may have a daughter who's 36 years old. Okay, let's get the message for you as we tie it together today. You're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling. To start where you are and begin building in a consistent way. Okay, so many people stop themselves from living a soul-led life because they're waiting to know the destination before taking first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. Our soul is always calling us every moment of every day. The way to find yourself in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your soul's baby calls and whispers each and every day and take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You are being encouraged to start small, bite-sized, to put one feet in front of the one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day, to break things down into achievable tasks. Time on earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause frustration for star, star seeds who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout. If you resonate with that, it's time to opt for consistency over urgency. Take 
Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. To remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. You don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take this next step. Soul inquiry. What's one simple baby step you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? You can journal that lovely soul and you can pause the video and go back to that. And before I end this, right before this, I sat outside by my car and I looked at the tire and it said destination. And next to it, it said 555 change, baby, moving toward a destination. Something is very also with that completion card. You're also close to completing something that your soul set out for you to do. I love you all. Keep taking care of yourself and come back to see me.